marriage really is a public commitment because it is meant to be a witness. It is a sacrament of service. Uh, and so who are you serving? Not just each other. You're serving the community in which you are placed. As a family, the opportunity to serve has helped my children really live out their faith, develop their leadership skills, develop their community service. You know, I would stay at home, watch my dog, and watch TV. But, you know, once I got involved, I think it's made our relationship infinitely better. Not that it wasn't great to begin with, okay? <laughs> but infinitely better in the sense that, you know, you're involved and you're doing something involved together. You're doing something that is important. We're stronger together than separate, and the ability to be a family and to serve is, is priceless, and I do believe it brings us joy. And I think that that's what marriage does in terms of service, is how our actions can be transmitted to help others. And so to be in service of the community is to know that the gospel is meant to challenge, to go out, to find the person who is not at the table and to help call him or her home. You know, all Christians are called to ministry where we serve each other. We serve each other in the poor. We speak out against injustice. Uh, we, we, we care for the sick and the dying. Uh, we, we care for those who are homeless and houseless. And so husband and wife need to bring up their children to understand that also to know that this is, this is part and parcel of what we do as Christians. You know, the sacrament of, of service is trying to figure out a way of how we can share our time, our talent, and our treasure. Love, sacrifice, compassion, mercy, isn't that what our Trinity is? He's very romantic. He likes to send me flowers and, you know, very thoughtful. It's a two-way street and you can't always have your way and uh, she reminds me of what I should be doing uh, when I'm trying to do something, uh, especially when it comes to eating too much. Uh, uh, she's my mentor uh, and monitor as well. We pray to, together every day. Yeah, yeah we pray so. together. And then that became a lot easier when she became Catholic. We recognize that we've been blessed in so many ways oh, yeah. and we Every, every evening, we, we thank God for all the blessings we've been given. We try to pay back as best we can, wherever we can, and we always ask for Him to open our eyes to opportunities we may not be seeing. We have been married for uh, going on 16 years. Uh, we just... Um, recently got married in the Catholic Church. I was Protestant, my husband is Catholic, and uh, I decided to give my children the faith that Pat was practicing. I love my kids, and I want to guide them correctly, and since I need guidance myself, I might as well be a practicing Catholic, since he's Catholic. I enjoy going to bed at night with one and the same person. I feel safe in it, and I look forward to it. It takes 100% uh, commitment to, to make a marriage work, and it takes love. Living in love, presenting that experience to others, that experience is our lived life. How will they know if we don't really tell them? And so having these opportunities to mentor other people or giving a retreat to them, that's how we can serve our church. That's how we can make it real for other people. It's not pie in the sky. Like It is our everyday real lived life. And we want to give hope to people that it's possible to have that passionate love affair for your whole life. It isn't just starry-eyed romanticism, uh, which is a good thing, but not enough. People fall in love and they fall out of love. Marriage is not just a feeling, it's a decision. So we have to decide. Even if the romance is gone, and it will disappear from time to time, I'm still committed to this.